Welcome to Sticky April with me, Ed Boxall, for Hastings Digital Museum. So I'm going to do a load of poems and activities over April that are all about one of my favourite things in the world, sticks. I've written a lot of poems about sticks and they seem to appear in my artwork all the time. I love sticks. Here's a poem where sticks appear a lot. It's called How Did We End Up Talking About? Walking along, banging big sticks on the gravelly ground with a lazy one-two crunching sound, a lazy one-two crunching sound. How did we end up talking about bleach? For 15 minutes at least. What is that stuff? And plasticine? And lentils? Are there bleach reservoirs? Plasticine mines? And lentil trees? Or is all that stuff made in factories? Walking along. Banging big sticks on the earthy ground with a lazy one-two thudding sound. A lazy one-two thudding sound. How did we end up talking about rhubarb? For ten minutes at least. Rhubarb is a good word, we agreed. So we started talking about our other favourite words. Mine were lemon, dark and mandolin. Yours were binturong and pangolin. Walking along, banging big sticks on the hard ground with a lazy one-two whacking sound, a lazy one-two whacking sound. How did we end up talking about bumblebees? For 20 minutes at least. We wondered whether bumblebees know they are bumblebees. We thought probably not. Or that they, but that they probably knew that they were somehow different to a spider, a football or a rock. Or you or me. Walking along. Banging big sticks on the familiar ground with a lazy one-two coming home sound. A lazy one-two coming home sound. I love how we talk about everything and nothing. Two best friends walking through the universe. The word rhubarb shining in my mind like a bright new planet. See you later, smelly alligator. So that's a poem in my book, Me and My Alien Friend, all about friendship and that great pleasure of walking along with a good stick and a good friend. A good stick and a good friend, having a chat and seeing where the conversation goes. Now there's one bit in that poem where the two children walking along come up with their favourite words. And I'd like you to do that. I would like you to get a piece of paper and make a collection of your favourite words. Your favourite words because of what they sound like. Lemon, dark, pan, pangolin. They were some of our favourite words in that poem. Some of my others are meander. That's a good word. And tomorrow. They're some of my favourite words. Because they sound great. Make a collection of your favourite words. You don't have to put them into sentences. And we're going to use them for another activity next week. See you later, smelly alligator. See you later, smelly alligator. See you later, smelly alligator. See you later, smelly alligator.